Yields back. Reserve. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield three and a half minutes to the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Van Drew. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized for three and one half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, a nation without borders is not a nation at all. Currently, we have an administration that prioritizes illegal immigrants over American citizens, over our own constituents. Since President Biden took office, more than 8 million illegal immigrants have entered our country without consequence. 300,000 since December alone. Within months, there will be more illegal immigrants than the population of my home state of New Jersey, a state that would rank 10th in population made up of illegals. And yet this president, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, and my Democratic colleagues continue to deny that the crisis even exists, allowing millions of illegal immigrants, many from countries that hate America, threatens our national security, and it is wrong. Using taxpayer dollars to give illegals immigrant free health care and making Americans pay for it is wrong sacrificing the education of our American children to turn their schools into shelters for illegal immigrants is wrong. Cutting public safety to fund services like free housing, free legal aid, and welfare for illegal immigrants that many Americans struggle to afford themselves is wrong. College education subsidies for illegal immigrants is wrong. Them slipping through terror the those on the terror watch list slipping through our borders is wrong. Sanctuary state status, sanctuary city status is wrong. Standing idly by while tens of thousands of Americans, American young people, die at the hands of illicit fentanyl that is flowing freely across our border is wrong. President Biden, and this administration has had the power to stop it, but they refuse. Our Democratic colleagues had a chance to stop it by voting for H.R. 2, but they refused. Four years ago, this didn't exist. And now our Senate colleagues have refused to take up H.R. 2 and are working to increase incentives for illegal immigrants to come into our country. We need to get serious. Those responsible must be held accountable. And once again, I demand that this administration for once put American people first. And I, I hope and I pray that everyone will vote for this good resolution. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman, I reserve. Gentleman from Texas reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from California, Mr. Correa. The gentleman from California is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, let me just say to my colleagues on this floor that what is really wrong is to misstate the problem, the facts to the American public. I've been to the border numerous times in the last year as a member of Homeland Security Security Subcommittee. Just got back from Latin America. 